welcome to Eat My Cake, Whitworth Sugar's own baking show, where I am going head to head with two other bakers for a chance to win £500 for a charity of my own choice. Now, I've been tasked to make a cake dedicated to this charity, and the charity I'm going for is called Help a Poor Child, which is a charity that helps children in need in Africa and India. So, the cake I'm going to be making is a plantain, mango, and coconut cake. So, Let's get baking. Ideally, I would want them a lot riper, but this was the best I could find. So you're going to chop and tail. If you cut it down the middle, it should peel like a banana. Perfect. Now, once you've peeled your plantain, you want to finely dice this and then fry this in some coconut oil until lovely and golden and brown. Remove that from the oil. Then you want to go in with Whitworth's light brown sugar, some water and a bit of cinnamon. Add back in your plantains, cook them down, go in with some coconut milk and cook them until your plantains are lovely and soft and caramelised. Okay, now we're going to start on the cake batter. Softened butter, of course, Whitworth sugar, light brown soft sugar and then dark soft brown sugar. Two eggs, good splash of vanilla. Then you want to go in with your cooked plantain. Put that all in. You just mix this. I've got self-raising flour here. Coming all over my jumper. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Salt. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cardamom. Stir this. Then you want to combine the wet with the dry, alternating with a mixture of coconut milk and coconut oil and fold that gently until all combined and then go in with lots of dried mango that's going to become so lovely and sweet um, once baked. Then you want to line your tins with toasted coconut and slices of fresh mango. Pour your batter over that, bake it, and you'll end up with this beautiful, light, fluffy sponge. Then you want to assemble with a mango coconut frosting, and then those beautiful caramelised plantains in the middle. Then go over with some cream cheese frosting, and then decorate as you wish. I just went over with some more frosting, some plantain chips, some fresh mango. And then as a little nod to the charity Help a Poor Child, I created a wafer paper silhouette of children holding hands. And there's the finished cake. So, would you eat my cake? Now you can head over to Whitworth Sugar's Instagram page to view the other episodes of Eat My Cake Baking Show and stay tuned for the next episode.